Uh, yeah, let's battle these bug catchers. Uh, we don't really need the XP. Bulbasaur's pretty overleveled. We may have an Ivysaur before beating Brock. But, unfortunately we couldn't get our need around, so we've got nothing else to train up. I don't want to catch some garbage like Weed or Caterpie or Rattata and you know, just waste XP on it, because then I'll just take it out. It's just, over and all, just a bad experience. Man, it, it's really bothering me. I don't understand why I couldn't find Nidorans. So I'm definitely going to have to look that up. Uh, thankfully, there's loads of guides and information online about Pokemon. Uh, I suppose I might as well explain a bit more of this game, just in case you really have no idea what's going on. Uh, poison Powder, not a particularly useful move. Oh gosh, yes. I might actually teach him to Sleep Powder over Growl. Basically, Bulbasaur is a grass type, so uh, I don't usually like grass types, but uh, I quite like Bulbasaur. But currently, we're fighting against Bug Poison types. Uh, Kakuna, Bug Poison, quite high defense. Uh, he's not actually all that useful because he just knows Harden, which increases his defense. But he's just a pain to kill, really. But because he's Bug Poison, we can't use Vine Whip because that would be really, really not effective. So instead I'm using Tackle. Whereas if we had something like a Fire type, or a Flying type, that would be super effective and you know, kill the Kakuna really easily. Well, not kill, but faint, I should say. Yeah. That's part of the reason why I wanted a Nidoran, because he can actually learn Peck, which is a flying type move, so he'd really easily go through this forest, since you know, all you find here are bug types, and he'd be quite easy to train. But... Yeah, let's stop dwelling on that. Let's fight this guy, Bugcatcher Anthony, in this Caterpie. That's another thing I... Ah, oh, I did it again, Vine Whip against a bug type. See, it says it's not very effective. I know it did a lot of damage, but you know, it's still... It would be better to use Tackle. So, and if I really wanted to, I could put them to sleep and then they couldn't attack me back. But at this stage of the game, that's just not that useful. Oh, level 8 Caterpie as well. Yeah. Why are there people in this Pokemon world who decide Yes, Caterpie is the Pokemon I want to use, and I want to have more than one Caterpie, so I can string shot everything. But speed isn't really an important stat in this game. It, literally all speed does is decide whether you attack first or your opponent attacks first. That's it. Uh, that, if that doesn't sound very useful, believe me, it's not useful. It, it's really... Well, I mean, I suppose in the late game, when you can have Pokemon that actually one-hit anything, it can be quite useful. But, at this stage of the game, it's just... it's rubbish. It's, you know, I don't care if I'm slower or faster. It doesn't make any difference to me. So, with all these bug types using String Shot to slow me down, it's kind of like, why would you waste your turn? At least do some damage. Yeah. Uh, does this guy battle? Yeah, he battles us. One of those Bulbasaur. Is he 15? Level 7 Metapod, I suppose it's a change. Yeah, Bulbasaur's level 15, so, uh, yeah, he may actually. And I think next level he evolves into Ivysaur, so that'll be fun. Just kick Brock's ass. I hope we fit it in this episode, actually. Uh, maybe, uh... Have to leave Brock, Fighting Brock to next episode. So, um... What I'm actually doing is... I'm gonna split 
this into 20 minute episodes, which obviously you'll know by now, but I'm actually recording this an hour at a time, so you know, I can split this recording that I'm doing up into three different episodes, which I'm going to upload you know, day after day. And I suppose I could upload them all at the same time, you know, kind of begs the question, well why don't I? It's it's better, I think, to upload it day by day. I mean, are you really going to want to watch an hour of Pokemon you know, solidly, or you know, will it keep you more interested if I upload 20 minutes and then ne next 20 minutes the next day? It's just you know, spits it out a bit, I think. Also, it helps me upload something a day. It's something I want to aim for. You know. I want to upload at least one thing every day. That's my goal. Uh, I think it seems pretty. It's a pretty achievable goal, but it's also pretty commendable. So. Oh, we may actually run out of tackles thanks to these metabots. Maybe I should have vine whipped him. I don't think vine is affected by harden. And there we go. Leaf is evolving to Ivysaur. Leaf this at normal speed. You can admire the uh, not so great graphics of the Game Boy Advance generation of Pokemon. I don't know. A lot of people. You know, tend to quite enjoy the evolution sequences. I've always felt a little underwhelmed with them. Uh, even in the uh, newest generation of Pokemon games, you know, they're all in 3D Pokemon X and Y. You know, 3D models, 3D evolution. You know, everything's got to be 3D. You know, supposedly looks really pretty. I just... It just doesn't interest me all that much. Yeah. I just find it underwhelming. Yeah, I know I've said that, but that's all I can really say on the subject. Oh. Oh, I can't wait until we're out of this forest. But we've got one more guy to find. Hopefully we've got enough tackles. Uh, oh yeah, he just has one Weedle as his Pokemon. Uh, I wonder who's going to win, the level 9 Weedle or the level 16 Ivysaur? <laughs> 3 damage, and we half health it. Uh, no, I actually feel kind of guilty. Uh, I've just wrecked these people's hopes and dreams. You know, they'll never be master at bug catchers or whatever. But, you know... Gotta make sacrifices now. If we're gonna be the very best, like no one ever was, you know, we gotta beat some people who just aren't cut for it. Uh, so skip over that route. I don't think there's anything interesting in that grass. I might be wrong. Maybe I can get Nidorans there, but to be honest, I just don't care enough to check. I just wanna beat Brock, uh, get to Mount Moon as fast as possible. Not really going for a uh, speed accomplishment, you know, speed run off this Pokemon. Uh, I don't really go for those kinds of things. I prefer to enjoy them at my own pace. But uh, there's no point dragging it out, especially since I'm recording. You don't want to see me waste time. So uh, let's be this camper. <laughs> As I talk about not wasting time, I fight this totally optional trainer who won't even give me that much XP, but... You know, it, it just feels... It feels as though I have to, you know? He's a gym trainer, I just have to beat him to get to the gym leader. Feels kind of like cheating if I just avoid him. So, uh... <laughs> he's certainly not a challenge. Uh, one hit both his Pokemon. 
Actually, it did give me quite a bit of XP. Now I'm level 17. Deke is level 17, I should say. Alright, let's talk to Brock and get the first badge of this Let's Play. We're gonna challenge him, yes! Oh, listen to that different battle music. Isn't it epic and uh, imposing? Intimidating, I should say. Oh gosh, this is gonna be such a tough fight, you know. Oh, we just one hit his first Pokemon. That's not such a tough fight. Oh, he sent out an Onyx. I wonder if we're gonna one hit this too. Yup. <laughs> right, game over. We beat the leader. <laughs> ah, we still got more to do. Eight gym leaders and eight badges we have to collect. Just to get to the Elite Four. Uh, it can be quite a long game. Just constantly fighting. Yes, teach us about TMs. Rock Tomb. I think it used to be Bide. So, I guess it makes sense that they changed it to something better. Bide being a generally terrible move. Basically, what Bide does is you do nothing for a couple of turns except let them hit you and then you do the damage they did to you doubled. I mean, it sounds good in theory, but generally you don't want to be hit for any kind of damage. So, yeah, not the best move in the world. Rock Tomb, not better. I think that's just straight up damage along with a speed slow. I mean, admittedly, speed isn't all that useful, but... Oh, some of the... Professor's Oak... Professor Oak's aid. Gosh. Man, I'm having lots of slip of the tongues. Yep, so now we have the running shoes. Yep. From our mothers. <laughs> hey, we can run around now and find some more trainers. Yay, last Janice, or last Janice? I don't know how to pronounce things. Yeah, let's tackle this Pidgey, or miss. Yeah, see, super effective. Still didn't do any da kind of real damage. I suppose because it's eight levels below us, but... Yeah, we don't want to be hit by too many super effective attacks, because that will take our health down really, really quickly. So I'm just going to tackle this thing away. I think we still have a potion, so we should be fine to continue. Level 18. Uh. Ah. Now, we've lost some of our accuracy, actually. So it might have been better if we did have another Pokemon. Because you can actually switch out to reset stat changes. But thankfully, we didn't miss... So... <laughs> I love some of the dialogue of this game. You know, just people losing and they're like, You're mean! Uh, it's just best dialogue ever. Yeah. <laughs> You've just been beaten and you can say, Oh, that was a good battle. You have to say, Oh, you're mean. I mean, what did you expect to happen? You had two level 9 Pidgeys. This guy. Come on. I mean, level 10, you can have Beedrills by then. Why would you possibly keep it as a Weedle rather than evolving it to Kakuna and then to Beedrill? Yeah, there's lots of strange things going on in the Pokemon universe. But, anyway, that battle's over. I may just skip through these battles, because there's actually quite a few chain of battles in this route. So, or not skip through, but we'll skip that guy. Speed up. And we didn't even need to fight this 
this glass or glass. Oh, there she has the Nidoran. Well, not the one we wanted, but a Nidoran. What I'm gonna do now is quickly check the Pokedex. Because what we can do is go to Nidoran's entry. And it shows us the area it's in. And yeah, it's not in that area anymore. I didn't actually know that. They always used to be in Route 22. But apparently now they're in this route instead. That's really strange. So, uh, I guess we can catch a need around here. Oh, I actually don't know what I'm going to name it if I do catch one. So I have to think about that while I'm battling this guy. <laughs> I usually go for a... Uh... I think my name is usually... I call the Nidoran male Freddy and the Nidoran female Mercury because uh, you know, Queen lead singer Freddy Mercury S somehow it made sense to me I guess Freddy is a male name Mercury, you can kind of see it as female I don't know but this time don't, I'm not going to go with that one because don't, we're not catching a need around female. Yeah, I don't actually know what I'm going to call him. Maybe I won't just call him Freddy. Just stick with tradition. Even though we're not having the second part. Freddy the Needle King, kind of. <laughs> Actually, we could name it after the um, Twitch Plays Pokemon Nida King. I forget what they called that though. Is it something like the Fonz? Uh, apparently this guy fought us in the Viridian Forest? Or is it this guy? I know one of these guys do. No, he just caught some new Pokemon. <laughs> Don't you know you have to train your Pokemon? Yeah, skip through this. Uh, may as well use Vine Whip. I think we can heal up fairly soon anyway. Oh, that was a crit. Critical hit. That was pretty useful. Uh, more Mankeys. Ah, uh, the dreaded Mankey. Ah! Oh, I was hoping to avoid her line of sight. Because this Jigglypuff is always a bit of a pain to fight, because it can use Sing to put your Pokemon to sleep. Thankfully, it didn't have the chance that time, but it's always something to be wary of. Uh, but back to the uh, endless fighting of random Pokemon. Ah, oh, need around female, but not need around male. Well, let's go on a little bit, because I know there's another patch of glass right here. Jigglypuff, not going to catch that. And if you've ever played Pokemon, you'll know Jigglypuff's pretty useless. I don't know what he, what exactly makes it so bad. Maybe it's just the fact that it has a terrible move pool. But yeah. Uh, I think the guy on the right sells us Magikarp. Uh, if you've ever played Pokemon, you'll know how bad Magikarp is. But I mean, we could buy him for a water type, but... Gyarados is pretty strong. It evolves from Magikarp pretty quickly. But I don't particularly want a Gyarados. I feel like Gyarados is quite... You know, it's used quite a lot. Let's skip through this. I really want that need around now. I hope you can find it in this route. I've only found Nira female this so far. Quite a bit of variation of the Pokemon in this route. Spearer. 
I always used to like Sparrow, but uh, in recent years I've just started to find he's not all that useful. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Maybe Nidoro Mail just isn't in this game. I know I said that before in the other route, but... Uh, really bothersome that we're not finding one. Oh man! We're already level 21. Come on, throw me a bone here. Give me a need around. Worst let's play ever. What have we spent? Something like 10 minutes in this grass? Not this patch of grass, but the grass in general. Maybe I should just use a uh, Need a Queen. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Need a Queen. I don't know what I'm gonna call it though. Ah, we've caught it. So, there we go. Pokedex, yeah. Female small horns. Um Maybe I'll call it unwanted. <laughs> ah, let's make this quick. I'll go just call it Queen. I quite like the band Queen. They're pretty good. Uh, got quite a few songs, quite a few songs I like. So, yeah. Post in the comments or give this video a like if you like Queen. Or if you like the band Queen. Or if you like, you know, England's Queen. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. God save the Queen, all that. I'm from England, by the way. If you hadn't guessed by the accent. So here we are entering Mount Moon. May actually catch a third Pokemon in here. Because there's a Pokemon I always quite like. Bullet Seed. I do quite like Bullet Seed. Um, what is it? It's a Zubat. Level 8 actually. Um, yeah. Well, actually, that did a lot less than I hoped. I may skip this up. There we go, and I'm going to throw a Pokeball. Because I really, really like Gold Bats. You know, poison Flying type. I think it's the only Pokemon with that type combination. And it's Gold Bats so cool and so strong. I guess, if you hadn't guessed by now, I really like poison types. 